My name is Rafael Morales Mendoza. Uh, in Mexico, we use the mother's last name, you know, and my mother was Mendoza. And um, I was raised in a town with the name Tequistepet, in the district of Guajuapan de Leon, state of Oaxaca, New Mexico. And I stayed in my town for uh, all my uh, the first years, and I went to school in my, my town, and uh, I talked to my wife, and uh, I told her, well, we can find, find a way to, to uh, make a living. Uh, over here, it's, it's hard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, be better, uh, I go to the north. I go to the north, and, um, and she said, well, it's, it's okay. You, it's what you decided. I think uh, if you're right, you go, and she, uh, she, uh, she gave me the okay, you know. I mean, I start uh, October the 4th, in the morning early, uh, 1950. I left my wife home. I um, and start coming, you know, to the different towns, up to Tehuacan. And Tehuacan, I took the bus and come this way, you know. But I get in, uh, October the 12th, I get in, uh, in the border in Mexicali. I came in, in the train, you know. I came in, in the train, I took the train in Guadalajara. In those days, the train, they go pretty slow. You know, uh, took me six days to get from Guadalajara to Mexicali. You know, it was very hard, the chair not very good, it's a wood chair, you know. <laughs> it was very, very hard, you know, and we don't have a very good place to sleep and those things. When I get in the Mexicali, you know, the, I was pretty tired and kind of sick, you know. But, you know, when I get there, you know, um, I, um, I was, somebody told me we have a, Brasero contracts in the border in Mexicali. And um, I was working in the area of um, Stockton. But you know, over there in Stockton, there really was hard. We have to use the, the shorthand hoe, you know, shorthand. And you know, when I was about 13 years old, I was making adobes, adobes kind of brick, you know to build in my house, you know. And a chunk of dirt, they come and they cover me up and broke my leg and my back over here. When those, when they give me that job, you know, with the hoe, this really was pretty hard for me because I had to bend it, you know, all day long, you know. And we have a, a, a roads about a mile long, you know. Are, they're not legal now, are they? No, right now, no. But in those days, there you go. And I'm working that way with the hoe up there in Imperial Valley. I start walking on the streets of Stockton. And uh, I find in a truck with uh, a group of uh, workers, you know, there talking to them. And I went to ask him, uh, what you guys doing over here? Well, he said, we want to go to Santa Rosa. You go to Santa Rosa? Yes, we go to Santa Rosa. He said, we're going to pick prunes. Oh, well. Uh, they don't need any more. I, I, got, I, I don't have no job. Sure, he said, we're talking to the boss. Yeah, well, he might take you, uh, take him with you. Well, I went talking to the boss. He said, yes, let's go. I'm going to go pretty quick. And I told him, well, I had two more friends in the hotel. You give me a chance to go get him and go with us. OK, he said, you go get him. I went to get the other guys, you know. And the street, they come in with that group, you know. We he came into Grace Ranch, Grace Brother Ranch. Well, we came in over there, you know. And, and I remember when I came over here, I just had 50 cents in my pocket. 50 cents. And uh, in the evening, you know, I came hungry. I asked uh, um, a Mexican fellow was over there. I told him, how I can find something to eat? I have 50 cents. Well, he said, let me talk to the boss. Maybe um, maybe uh, we find something. Well, when he come back, he said, no. The boss, he said, he's going to buy the, 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 the dinner for you guys. 
Then he went to get a bunch of hamburgers, you know, and we eat, you know. I don't spend my 50 cents. <laughs>